As Russia intensifies its attack on Ukraine, it's now time to see some of those haunting images that has convulsed the whole world even on day 24. I'm going to take you through those images right here on your screens. This video that's been released by Russian Defense Ministry shows a group of KA-52 and Mi-24 attack helicopters firing at an airfield and landing troops in a bid to capture the airfield. Mykolaiv, the southern city of Ukraine, is in ruins. Images here on your screens showing rescuers and doctors trying to save this little girl desperately, who's now caught under rubble after a rocket attack on a military base that's caused large-scale devastation. In Donetsk region of Ukraine, anti-tank missile system of Ukrainian paratroopers effectively destroyed the Russian military. These images on your screens here show the massive explosion after the attack has literally shaken the entire region. And these next defining images on your screens showing the scale of destruction on buildings in southeastern region of Ukraine's port city, Mariupol. The drone images here that's been captured shows the mass destruction on several high-rise buildings, most of which have been damaged. Bird's eye view of residential buildings here shows how it's been destroyed by shelling. Long traffic jams can be seen as people head towards the exit route of the city after it's come under severe attack. And to understand the gravity of Russian attacks on Kiev residential areas, these drone images here on your screens show the scale of destruction, mass destruction that's been imposed on this city of Ukraine. Buildings that have been destroyed, several civilian establishments that were literally gunned down. Cars that you see damaged there. Life has come to a complete standstill in this key city. And on the eastern Ukraine city of Kharkiv, a residential building has been reduced to rubble. Images on your screens here showing firefighters taking stock of the damage. According to Ukraine's media, one person was killed, 11 were wounded in this attack. Many civilians now reeling under the crisis. And a shell hit a residential building in eastern Ukrainian city of Donetsk, controlled by Russian-backed separatists. According to locals, at least four people were killed and dozens were injured. Images here on your screens showing clearly the aftermath of the attacks. Bodies there lying around on the ground, cars destroyed, buildings have been damaged. A very sorry story unfolds. A Ukrainian baby sobs and puts up a fight as his father tries to hug him and send him off, saying goodbye. The father, a Ukrainian police officer, had to stay in the country as his family had to flee to Irpin. Very heartbreaking visuals coming to court. <laughs> While shelling intensified in the capital city of Kiev, a mother covered her one-month-old daughter with her body and managed to save her child's life. The woman herself has sustained multiple sharpnel wounds while the child remained unharmed. The family was taken to a hospital after which the woman and her husband who incurred injuries were then operated upon. Russia continues to target residential areas in the capital city of Kiev. On your screens here is a drone image from Friday of a shelled building. In fact, the entire building has been damaged and charred due to heavy shelling. Heavy shelling continues to wreak havoc in Kiev, the capital city. On your screens here, you see images that was captured on Friday of massive fire that broke out at a depot after Russia attacked residential areas. Firefighters seen desperately trying to exhaust the blaze from a safe distance due to risk of projectile explosion. Fire rips through the main market in Kharkiv after bomb attack by Russian troops on Friday. The sky over the city is black 
with clouds of smoke from burning buildings. However, firefighters can be seen trying to douse the fire. No casualties have been reported as yet, but the extent of damage is yet to be assessed. Russia continues to rain missiles on the capital city of Kiev, including residential areas on Friday which were bombarded. At least one person was killed, three of them wounded after a missile hit a residential building in Kiev. These are contrary to reports from Russia that claim they are not targeting civilians. Unfortunately, these visuals on your screens here showing a woman crying right next to her dead a dead body of her loved one, shattering, numb, devastating visuals. Ukraine's right-wing extremist forces, Azov Battalion, released footage on Wednesday showing a tank that was marked Z being bombed by them. The video on your screens here shows the tank coming under fire and a man is being seen escaping from that tank. The video is said to be from eastern Ukrainian city of Mariupol, which has now come under heavy attack from Russian forces. Russian airstrikes have devastated the Ukrainian city of Mariupol. The images on your screens here from Friday showing the aftermath of Russian attacks. Damage destroyed buildings. Havoc is completely visible here in the form of these sites and images showing how these buildings have been fully desecrated. According to Ukrainian media, 90% of buildings in Mariupol are completely destroyed and gutted. <laughs> and Russia continues to rain on the capital city of Kiev. Images here on your screen showing from Friday exposes the kind of devastation that is in that city of Kiev. We are seeing images showing plumes of smoke coming out of that one residential area for a home. It can be seen kilometers away from that site. This image here is coming from Kiev, where we see bombing, bombarding, strikes, shelling that goes on unabated. One of the worst hit cities of Mariupol, hit by bombardments and shelling. Drone footage here showing how on Friday, a queues of cars there that desperately showed civilians wanting to leave the besieged city of Mariupol in eastern Ukraine. In fact, civilians continue to face destruction as Russia targets Ukrainians by bombing residential complexes. And images of horror on your screens here from Friday. The occupiers shelled a residential area of Visigorod city, resulting in buildings, vehicles being gutted in fire. Several shops there set ablaze. Smoke that can be seen coming from shops and buildings in that vicinity. Now, as residents in Kherson city of Ukraine refuse handouts given by Russian military personnel, the incident caught on cameras here from Friday shows residents not willing to accept relief aid from Russian army. The anger is palpable. In fact, civilians there refusing to accept any humanitarian aid given by the Russian army. Russian missiles struck an area near the airport of Ukraine's western city of Lviv on Friday. You can see black smoke rising from a factory building. And according to reports, the plant has been stopped. There are no casualties reported from the strikes. Three people were killed, five of them wounded, after shelling caused a fire at a market in eastern Ukrainian city of Kharkiv on Thursday. These images here are showing the extent of destruction that this city has suffered after heavy shelling by Russian troops. You can see fire all over, plumes of smoke, charred vehicles, really showing how devastating this war has been for key cities of Ukraine. Russian occupiers shelled a school in Kharkiv on Thursday. You can see damaged school buildings and damaged cars there lined up. There is no sign of human life. People there have fled in large numbers. In fact, trees have been uprooted. Piles of rubble, scattered lumps of concrete, all that that's left behind in this besieged city.
Moment of horror that was caught on cameras from Thursday's image here, shown on your screen how heavy shelling by Russian forces in Kharkiv late last night rocked the second largest, the second populous city in Ukraine. Russian shelling, bombing that led to multiple explosions in Kharkiv. Several buildings and vehicles were destroyed in the attack. Barely any civilians who have managed to stay back. Many of them, many of them as we see, have fled from that region. Ukraine continues to fight back. On your screens here is wrecked parts of crashed Russian aircraft images from Thursday which was shot down by Ukrainian troops in Mykolaiv region. No confirmation of the belongings of the pilot, but this was struck down. Images there showing the extent of damage. Devastating scenes at last hospital in Mariupol from Thursday. The lone hospital standing as well as others were bombed out by Russia. You can see bodies piled up all over the place. Dead includes large numbers of infants and women. <laughs> Russian troops dropped a powerful bomb on a theatre in the encircled Ukrainian port city of Mariupol on Thursday. And according to reports, more than a thousand, including women and children, were taking shelter there. Unfortunately, Many of them seem to have died in this attack, but no count on the number of people as casualties have not been confirmed. Overnight shelling wreaks havoc in Kharkiv on Thursday. Images here on your screens showing clearly the moment when the city was attacked by Russian forces, where buildings came crashing down after attacks, constant shelling and missile strikes, shops that were set on fire, huge plumes of smoke coming out of those areas that were once bustling with activity. Ukrainian media has released a video on Wednesday claiming Russian troops opened fire on people who were standing in line for bread in the Ukrainian city of Chernihiv. The video on your screens here shows how dead bodies are lying on the ground. Ukraine's media has claimed that at least 10 people were killed in that incident. India Today, however, could not verify this report independently. Russian Defense Ministry has released a video on Wednesday. It shows armored vehicles, tanks and other military equipment, including foreign-made anti-tank rocket launchers that have allegedly captured, it was captured by Russian troops. And we see Russia, of course, upping its offensive, not sparing none. These images are from the capital city of Kiev from Thursday. Ukrainian people are getting rescued after Russian troops attacked a residential area. According to reports, one person died in the attack and three are injured. The emergency service department has managed to evacuate 30 people from the building that was shelled by Russian forces. Russian Defense Ministry has shared a video of an airstrike on a Ukrainian missile and artillery warehouse on Wednesday. And according to Moscow, the airstrike was carried out by high-precision missile system of the Russian armed forces. The warehouse was completely destroyed. These aerial shots showing a telling story. Non-stop shelling has completely devastated separatist-controlled town, Makaevia. In Ukraine on Thursday, images here showing, shown on your screens showing the aftermath of attacks, damaged cars, destroyed vehicles, broken windows, life literally has come to a standstill. The video on your screens here comes from Thursday that's been released by the Ukrainian forces themselves. It shows broken and abandoned equipment of Russian forces in Kiev suburbs Bucha. Ukraine has claimed that Russian troops used residential buildings as shelter. Ukraine now putting up stiff resistance, attacking Russia's offensive. But yet, we see the damage on a large scale. Images on your screens here comes from the capital city of Kiev from Thursday. 
Unfortunately, very heartbreaking visuals here showing how 21 babies were born to surrogates were kept safe in a basement. Nurses there taking care of these babies. Unfortunately, because of the fighting and the war that's currently taking place, parents of these surrogate babies have not been able to come visit them. They've not been united with their families. These toddlers and children uh, and elderly people, most of them are now huddled together only to save themselves from this unabated war. And Russia continues to target civilians. The image on your screens here is coming from Mariupol on Wednesday. You can see how a Russian tank is firing at a civilian. According to reports, invaders pounded on residential areas of the besieged city. Despite that civilian raising his hand, unfortunately, he was still gunned down. Another horrific video here exposing Russia. Image on your screens here showing how on Wednesday, invaders shooting down a civilian who raised his hands up while trying to flee the capital city of Kiev. He was shot down brutally. Reports claim the man was trying to evacuate from that war-torn region before Russian troops. Despite knowing that he was a civilian since he raised his hand up, he was mercilessly killed. Ukraine has released a video on Wednesday of attacking Russian forces from an armoured vehicle. The video on your screens here shows Russian armoured personnel carrier and forces being fired at from the vehicle as seen on a monitor inside that vehicle there. And Russian Defense Ministry has released a video on Tuesday. The clip shows Russian soldiers inspecting and collecting weapons allegedly taken from Ukrainian forces. Russia says weapons were captured in the capital city of Kiev. A weapons factory in Kiev was heavily damaged in Russian attacks. The video here on your screen is showing heavily damaged factory. Outside that factory, shopkeepers and helpers were seen sweeping glass and other debris from the impact of the explosions. Barely any essentials that are left now for those civilians who've decided to, to stay behind to fight for their country. To understand the gravity of this Ukraine war, just have a look at these visuals. A couple is seen crying after their building was bombed by Russian forces, completely devastated as an uncertain future looms large. Most of them are literally gathering together what's left behind. Over three weeks into this war, frustrated, furious Putin has now started bombing residential buildings in Kiev. At least three people were killed in the attack, while dozens of civilians have, injured, have been injured. And it's not just one area. We're looking at several areas of Ukraine, including Kharkiv, Kiev, Mariupol, where civilian establishments have been heavily bombarded. A footage here that's been released by Ukrainian military shows the aftermath of Russian strikes on Okhtyrka city of Ukraine, video here very clearly showing how a residential building has now turned into complete rubble after non-stop bombardment from Russian forces, contrary to reports that they are not targeting civilian establishments. <laughs> Russian Defense Ministry released a video on Tuesday to show destroyed and abandoned military vehicles in Ukraine's Kherson region. The video on your screens here shows how destroyed armoured vehicles and tanks lay still. We're looking at resistance coming in from Ukrainian forces. Undoubtedly, will that be a match or not? Only time will tell to Russians' might. Russian assault on Ukraine continues and it is the capital city, Kiev, that is now heavily under attack. Russia has stepped up its offensive on Kiev. These images on your screens here showing how residential blocks inside Kiev was bombed. It was struck at. Many of those buildings torn apart right after missile strikes. Huge plumes of smoke that's seen coming out of those buildings even to this day. This is Shivatonshki. Russian missiles have hit residential buildings in the center of the Ukrainian Kiev, city of Kiev painting a totally devastating picture of buildings and homes that have collapsed. 
Videos here shows residential complexes being charred after missile strikes. These are videos that have been coming in constantly showing how no area quite literally is being spared by Russian forces. It's raining missiles and airstrikes even in the second largest city of Ukraine. These visuals here are of the aftermath of airstrikes at night in Kharkiv. Fire erupts as airstrikes rain in the city. Horror arrives in Ukraine cities as Russia continues to up its assault and offensive on Ukraine, even as talks and negotiations continue parallelly. Now, in an absolutely heart-wrenching event here, this image on your screen shows the Russian army tanks who are having fun by shelling residential complexes in the small city of Volnovaka in Ukraine. Unfortunately, it's the civilians there bearing the brunt, losing their loved ones and fleeing from their own motherland. And amid non-stop heavy shelling, Russian invaders destroy the city of Velka Dimerka, leaving it in ruins. Shelling has continued in that region. Horror of shelling, a bus stop there, spotted on cameras where Ukrainian civilians are staying. And unfortunately, just that region was bombarded. It was blast in a blast that was reported that was captured on cameras, really shaking civilians and those locals who were living in the vicinity. Shocked and desperate, they fled the region. Russian assault continues to become uglier, with now residential complexes becoming main target of missile attacks. This comes on your screens as an aftermath picture of destruction that was caused by heavy shelling inside the city, tearing everything apart while relief works still continue. In fact, the extent of damage has not been assessed. One can only imagine the kind of damage to loved ones, particularly, that Ukrainians have incurred. Large plumes of smoke that's emerged from a site of Chuguev in Ukrainian city, Kharkiv Oblast, where rockets were launched by Russian occupiers. These very disturbing visuals here showing how most of the areas, not just military establishments, even residential areas, were targets by military of the U by Russian military so far.